Hello, good morning. It's Colleen with Chocolate Tour. Happy New Year. We're coming in with a cute little project today. That is one of our brand new Valentine transfers. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do it on a um, box frame. So I have a box frame that I had um, snowflakes on and I use glitter on it. So we're going to erase that today and then create a brand new project on here. Have fun. So let's go ahead. I'm going to um, spritz this with a little bit of water so that we can remove our previous design. I usually give a good healthy amount. Hello Tia. Happy New Year. I usually give a good, um, healthy amount of water on there, and it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, clean up. <clears throat> I love how the glitter looks on the glass. It's so pretty. And I have had this on here for quite a while, so I'm going to have to use a little bit of elbow grease. to, And it's going to be a little messy because of the glitter, as you can see. But it does look so pretty. Okay, my glass is making a lot of noise moving around in there. How easy is it to remove chalk tour, right? Actually, it didn't even really require a lot of elbow grease. It came off pretty good. Hope you're having a great morning. It's actually, what time is it? It's actually getting close to afternoon, I think. Give another spritz here. Get off any of the remnants of the glitter that I had on there. we will be ready to rock and roll with Morning. our cute little valentines. Okay. Got a little bit over here. Let's try to get that out of the corner there. Okay. And this should fit on here perfectly. I think I measured it. We should be good to go with this to fit. It's really cute. Forget love, I'd rather fall in chocolate. How funny is that? And I thought that's pretty cool to have on a box frame because then I could put some chocolates inside of it. That's kind of fun. All right, I think we got just about everything off. I may have to come in with a Q-tip and get the tips here of some of that glitter out of there, but I'll do that later. Let's just go ahead and get the project started. Okay, I'm just gonna blast this with a little heat to try to get rid of some of that glitter. If it will work, I don't think it's working too well. That's all right, I'll come back in and try and get some of that out. It's right here up at the top in the corners. Okay, glitter's fun, but oh my gosh, it gets everywhere. Alrighty, so let's get started, shall we? Brand new transfer, never been opened. All the instructions are here on the back, and this is our B-size transfer that is called Forget Love. So here we go. It's exciting. I love having a new transfer to work with. And then, right along the lines here are where we can go ahead and cut. Hello, good morning, Johnny. Happy New Year. And hello for those watching replay. Happy New Year to you as well. So we're just going to go ahead and cut right along the lines. I cannot even cut straight, even with the help of the lines. I'm always horrible at cutting straight. Do the best we can. Do the little details for the candy. How cute. And then we are going to just snip these little pieces in apart. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit the chocolates on here, but we'll see. <laughs> in bed by 8.30, huh? You, I kind of was almost ready for bed at 8.30 last night, but I hung in there and I, I think I went to bed at 10 after midnight. 
yeah. And then proceeded to toss and turn until two this morning, which is the normal for me. Okay, we're gonna put those to the side because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them because this actually, I think, fits just perfectly in here. I might be able to get a chocolate or two on the side, so we shall see. Hopefully this will fit, this should fit. Okay, let's label the back. And you've got little ones too, Johnny, right? So I remember going to bed early all the time when my son was little. Because they'd be up very bright and early in the morning. And I'm a sleeper. Or I used to be a sleeper. I used to be good at sleeping. Not so much anymore. Okay, so let's get this off. And we're going to fuzz it on a towel. Let me just grab one of my towels here. <clears throat> and it's really important because we are using this on glass. And it's the very first time that we're using it. So it is going to be pretty darn sticky. And because we're using it on glass, I want to make sure I fuzz it really well. I do not want to ruin my transfer by having it stick to the glass and then not being able to get it off. Let's open this up. So I'm going to fuzz this quite a few times. And the other kept hiding from the... Oh... You know what? I don't blame them because um, I, I have a thing with loud sounds. So I'm kind of the same way. I can remember as a kid, I'd always have to hold my ears um, for fireworks whenever we'd see them on the 4th of July and on New Year's if you'd hear them. I was the same way. I guess I'm very sensitive to sound. So I was the same way growing up. I'm going to do one more time just to be sure because I really want this fuzzed good. Okay, now we can move our towel. And I think I'm going to center it and then we'll see if I can maybe, especially because I still have some gunk to get out of the corner here, some glitter that i got to work on getting out of that corner. So let's just center this. I'm going to have to take this up so I can get the... Make sure I can get that F in there. And then get my H. Perfect. That fit perfectly. Okay. So I'm just checking for bubbles. I did take that really close up to the top here. I just kind of have to bend my transfer a little bit. But it's okay. Once I get it back on the backer sheet, it'll flatten back out. No worries. Okay. I think I was going to go with a little bit of a... Hi, Meg. I'm going to go, Happy New Year. I'm going to go with a little bit different colors here. I, I took out um, Candy Apple Red and Buttermilk because they're, um, just want to make sure I said that right, because I definitely wanted to do red for Forget Love because, I don't know, just traditional like that where it's, I see love and it's like, okay, that should be red. Um, oop, I just turned my light down. And, um, and I'm just obsessed with buttermilk right now. And plus I thought it went really well with, um, I don't have bark. I have mocha, which you can see is our two ounce jar. Um, so I was going to use that for the chocolates if I can get in. Bark is comparable to our old mocha and bark obviously comes in the three ounce jars. So, um, I don't have bark, so I'm just going to use my old mocha. I'm going to get that stirred up. Look at the lovely consistency here. That's perfect. Let's get our buttermilk going. Get that stirred too. Buttermilk's a little thicker. If you notice that some of the lighter pigment colors tend to be just a little thicker, but that's okay. Go ahead and spritz in just a shot of water. Get that to where we need it. And let's check my mocha because this is, you know, going way back. So this one, well, no, it's not too bad. It's a little stiff. So I'm going to spritz in a good amount of water into that one. And we'll get that a nice vigorous stir. And there we go. Now we've got that yogurt-like consistency. So that's perfect. So we're going to keep it to the three colors. And as I said, I'll do Forget Love in red, in the Candy Apple Red. And then I'd rather fall for chocolate in the buttermilk. And then we'll try to get some, some of the little cute little chocolates around the side here, which I should be able to fit. So again, just a little bit, because the red is, 
I think I'm going to do my vision board today. I just don't know what to do on it. Oh, yes, vision board, vision board. Hold on, you want to see mine? I'll show you my vision board. I have it right here. Oh, I got a little crud on it. This is my vision board. I use our chockable chips. And oh, one of my things popped down. That's what it is. <laughs> That's my vision board. So a new car, money obviously to help supplement income. Uh, new adventures, Ireland, which I would love to go to Ireland at some point. My goal is to hit master mentor and also to go to leadership. So that's my vision board, which I have hanging right up above me. So I can look at that every time I'm working. I think vision board is awesome to have. Hello, Connie. Happy New Year. Okay, so let's get going back with this. Get a little bit of red back on here. We just took a diversion there, showing off my vision board. So hopefully, I think I did good checking for bumps, making sure that there was no bumps in the um, silk screen. So we're just putting a nice light layer on here. Gotta be careful not to hit this down here. Oh, darn it, I think I just hit my eye. All right, might, I'm gonna peel back and dry the top. I got a little carried away there and I might've hit the eye, which I wanted to do on buttermilk. Let's see. Okay, I think we got everything covered up top here. Get that excess back into our jar. Let's peel back and say, Happy New Year to you, Connie. I want to see if I hit my eye. And even though you saw me fuzz this pretty good, it's still on here pretty good. Oh, hold on. I missed a part of the L. Let me put that back down real quick. How did I miss that? Goodness gracious, that was a big chunk of the L. Let's just get that back on there. Hopefully I didn't mess that up because I didn't push that down good enough. Let's see. Yay, I got it. Oh good, I didn't get the eye. Perfect. I think I might have got just a little piece of it right there with the red. I'm gonna wash that off. That looks so good on the on the board. I love the red. Check out oh, I think I got the E, Connie. I missed the L, but I was able to put down and got it. So we are good. I'm going to hold this up because yesterday's project I leaned this down too far and then wound up getting chalk paste on the rest of my transfer. That looks so good. Okay, let's make sure that's dry. I feel pretty good. I missed a little tiny piece of the V. I wonder if, probably not. I wonder if I could do that. Let's just say, I missed a little tip of the V. Why am I always missing little pieces of my letters? I do it all the time. Oh, I got it. I got it. And I missed a little piece of the line. Let's try that. There we go. We fixed it. Oh, I smeared the L a little bit, but no worries, I can fix that. All right, and I, of course I got chalk paste on my fingers. All righty. Now this should be good. Now let's, my cord would go down, that'd be lovely. I'm gonna grab a squeegee just so I can push this back down get that back on my board hopefully without any bubbles there we go okay now we're gonna come in with the buttermilk for the bottom half I really cut that close with the eye there but let's see hopefully I got it and didn't get any red on there 
And then as you pull down, look how nicely that just slides right down. Alrighty, gonna need just a little bit more. Nice thin layer on there. Oh, let me slide up a little bit. I realize I'm kind of off the camera here. And then we just pull across. Okay, and one more should do it. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of the H here, making sure I don't leave that off. Since I'm a pro at missing the tips of the letters here. All right, nice, healthy push down to get all that excess chalk off and get the lines out, and then all the excess back in. All right. And I have my pan of water right off to the side. It is easy to do, Connie. Applying even pressure, I'm holding my transfer <clears throat> evenly across the top. Again, like I said, it is, it does, it will roll when you use it on glass, but that's fine. I'm gonna put it in my pan of water. I'll be able to get that roll back out when I get it on its carrier sheet. That is normal, that will happen on glass, even though we fuzzed it. Not a problem, I'm just trying to get some of this chalk paste off my fingers real quick. Let me grab my towel. Then we can dry this. I like the red and the buttermilk together. I really like that a lot. And then I just had the little boo-boo here, but I'm gonna get a Q-tip in there. So let's dry this. And I missed the, I'm gonna to have to probably put this back down and get the I and the D. I think that's because I hit the top of it just a little bit with the red, but what I'll do is I'll clean my transfer and lay it back down to pick that I up. Okay, I think this should be dry. The buttermilk and white usually dry pretty quickly. Yep, we are good. Everything is nice and dry. So let's get a couple little chocolates on here. I like this one. This is usually the caramel, and that's the one I like. This is probably like a chocolate-covered cherry, and I do not have a clue what that one is. Um, let's see. Let me get my towel again so I can fuzz these, and I'm just going to label with a B on the back. I like the colors a lot, too, Connie. I thought that they were good. I didn't want to just go with... Oh, okay. I got a weird message just popping up. There we go. Um... I wanted to kind of change it up. I like the, um, like I said, I'm obsessed with the buttermilk right now. So I'm going to put a B, just a B on the back of these chocolates. So I know that that is the back of my carrier sheet. And then we just kind of roll it off. And that's the shiny side. And that's where our transfer will return to once we are done. So let's get this good and fuzzed. Ah, uh, why does my iPad keep shutting down? There we go. Okay, we're back. All right, we're getting that nice and fuzzed over here on the side. And then I think I'm just gonna, I like the caramels. Maybe I'll just throw a couple caramels around. Let's see, let's see how it looks. Do we wanna leave it like that or should we put a couple chocolates around? Maybe a couple chocolates. Let's see, we got gonna... See what the mocha like, looks like. And if I don't like it, I just wash it off, right? That's all I have to do if I'm not happy with the chocolates. Because I want to fill it with candy, so I want to be able to see the candy behind it. There we go, did our mocha. And again, the color that's comparable right now in the three ounce jars to mocha is, is bark. It's a little darker, but you could always um, add a little bit of white to it. So on a on a paper towel, I'm not a paper towel. On like a paper plate or a little bowl or something, you could mix some of your. Um, hey Jody, um, do a couple of chocolates, Johnny. I'm thinking. I think I like that. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, let's do another one down here, and then um, like on a paper plate or a little tiny bowl, a little petri dish or whatever you have. You could mix the bark and some white together, and that will make it a little, so it'll make it like a milk chocolate. And um, 
that's easy enough to do. Did you know that you could do that? You can mix your colors of chalk paste to create your own, so that's pretty awesome. We didn't have like a violet color, so I created, um, not violet, lilac. So I created um, a pretty lilac because somebody had wanted that color in a design. And that was just um, purple and white, made it a nice pale purple color. There we go, let's put that one in water and we'll bring in another one. Maybe we could do some of these, these guys here. Or bark and black for dark chocolate. Yep, I am a big fan of dark chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate over white chocolate. So that is a fantastic idea, Connie. All right, we're fuzzing, we're fuzzing, we're fuzzing. Oh, did not label the back. I can still see that that's paper and that's shiny. So let's do that before I forget. Just gonna put a little B on there. So I don't forget that. Yeah, and dark chocolate's healthier too, so that's always a plus, right? Okay, we've got this buzzed. Let's put this guy right here. There we go. Is this like a truffle? Is that what that, that one is? I don't eat them, so maybe that's what that is. My favorite chocolate of all time is coconut clusters. Oh, they are my absolute favorite chocolates. I love them. Do you guys have favorite chocolate? The candy looks, it, it does, you're right, Jody. Cause it's throwing a shadow behind it. So it does look kind of cool. You are absolutely right. Uh, let's put this one up here. There we go. I don't know if I want to use the truffles. I might bring in some of those little swirly designs maybe, but again, I want to be able to see the chocolate behind here because I think what I'm going to do at um, I have an event that I'm going to be doing on the 19th and I think I'm going to fill it with chocolate and have people guess how much chocolate is in the shadow box and if they guess correctly they could win it I think that would be fun alrighty okay here we go Should we leave it at that, I think? I think that looks good. I think I don't want to overcrowd it. Thanks, Connie. Yeah, I like that idea. I've seen that done before. I think that's kind of cool. And it was funny because I did, um, I did an event last, yeah, in December I did an event. And I don't typically sell my finished pieces, but I had a shadow box and somebody loved it so much that they offered me money for it. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. It was a Christmassy one that I had little jingle bells in. Um, so I thought, mm, shadow boxes seem to be pretty cool. People like them, so that would be fun. Put some candy in there. I'm just closing up all my lids right now so that my chalk paste doesn't dry out. And then I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna clean our transfers because we wanna get many uses out of our transfers, right? You want to stretch that $14.99 value for your transfer and get many uses and many projects out of it. At least that's what I like to do. Um, we do have some cute little swirlies here that I could easily put around. Really cute. I think I'm just going to leave them off because I want to be able to see the chocolate inside when I put that in. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to move. Um, I'm going to put that right there for a second. And then we'll bring in our pan. Get all my, I still got glitter. Yep, all the glitter from what I erased on there is now all over my desk and now on my hand. But let's bring our bucket in here and I'm gonna show you how to clean your transfers. So we had this off to the side. Hopefully, let me just make sure that catches up and you guys can see the bucket. Okay, 
So I just use my hands, but you can use a board eraser to clean your transfers. So I'm just getting my squeegees cleaned real quick so I can get them over here. And then we're just gonna get the chalk off of the front. And again, no worries if it stains, especially the red. That will, I'm um, just putting my transfers down, sticky side down, uh, up, I mean sticky side up. <laughs> Getting the chalk paste off the front and the back. And remember how I said this rolled, but no worries. No worries at all. I think, do I have my board eraser? My beat up, lovely board eraser. Or did I throw it away finally? I probably throw it away finally because I really beat that thing up. I need to get another one out. But like I said, no worries. The red is definitely going to stain. And that is okay. And then we're going to take care of that roll there at the bottom once we get it back onto its carrier sheet. Okay. So for today, because I don't have a board eraser handy, I am going to use my disinfectant wipes to clean them. Squeegees out, my stirry sticks, and we'll clean all that. One more stirry stick. There we go. That's it. So now we got all that out of our pan. Can I dry my fingers off on my towel here. What I normally do first is I normally try to get some of the excess water from the back of the transfer off. Just because if I go right to using the disinfectant wipe, it's gonna get waterlogged with all the water that's on the back of the transfer. So let's clean these guys real quick. They're done. Try to make sure that you're getting all the little chalk off on the side too. I did that one time where I missed some and it wound up mixing. So I try to check for that on the sides here because it gets in the little crevices when you cut your squeegees apart. See how I had red on the side there, so try to make sure we get that off. Okay, now we can bring in our disinfectant wipe. There's not much left. Yeah, the, you know what? They are fantastic, the erasers. I love that. I think they're fantastic for cleaning because the disinfectant wipes, I don't like using all the time because they stink, number one. Well, these don't have a scent, but it's got that that distinct Clorox smell to it. Um, so if you're using them all the time, shoo, it really makes your hands stink. And then um, I don't think it's probably really healthy either to be using them a lot. Or I could use gloves. That would probably be smart too. Um, but I like using the board eraser because then I don't have to use the Clorox wipes. So there we go. So all I did was I cleaned the back, flipped it over, got all the chalk off the front of the silk screen, flipped it back again, and did one more wipe. Now let's start this one because it is curling, and it's got a lot of red in here. And see how the it picks up all that with your wipe. So probably is a good idea too when you're using a darker color. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, they do last forever. What I did was I kind of took the life of my board eraser down because I chalked on something that was very fuzzy um, and it wound up getting the back of my transfer really, really fuzzy. Um, it stuck to it big time. And I used my board eraser to try to get it off and I kind of ruined my board eraser. And I love how it makes the design on my towel. <laughs> when I'm cleaning them. That's so funny. Uh, that will wash out. I, wa I use these towels constantly, so no worries about that. I'm actually gonna get a new white because this one has so much red on it. So then our final step <laughs> will be to do the back. And I have glitter on here now too for my project because I didn't get all that glitter off of my shadow box okay so now that's gonna dry I can tell because it's starting to not be as pink or red once I wipe I'm just gonna check the front one more time just to be sure I got all that red off 
I want to make sure that my Clorox wipe doesn't look really red. There we go. Okay, now we leave that to dry for a second. And easy peasy matching up. Let's bring these back in. So we labeled the backs of these so I can tell the size that this goes to this. So let's lay this down. It, my stickiness is back now, as you can see, because my fingernail will keep sticking to it. Um, goodness gracious, get off. And then I just kind of line it up. So shiny side, paper side, shiny meat sticky. And that's it. Now we can reuse that transfer again and again for different projects. This would make an awesome shirt. I just thought of that. It would be such a cute shirt for Valentine's Day. All right, I am way off there because my finger keeps sticking. Hold on, let's do it. Let's flip it and do it this way. Because this is a small guy, it's easy enough to put on here. I'm trying to get to the bottom one so I can show you how where that curl is, how we can fix that. It's actually already kind of started to flatten itself out. But once you get it back onto its carrier sheet, it's going to flatten back out. Oop. Let's pull that down again because I had a bubble in there. That's the other thing I learned too. When I'm putting my transfers back on, I need to make sure that there's no bubbles. There we go. And see how it's now I put a lot of pressure and I kind of got that to stick back on there and that will flatten out now if you have a problem where it's still rolling see how it's wanting to come off you could put a little paper clip there or you could put a heavy book on here and that's gonna flatten it back out again but if you press really hard it should stick and not be a problem with rolling again so there we have it. Now we've got all our pieces. We can put them back in and use it again for another project. I think I make want to make a shirt out of this. I think that that would be super cute because I don't think I have any Valentine shirts. So that will work. All right. So then we just put our transfer back in. Again, all the instructions that I went over in my live are actually on the back of the packaging. Right there. And that is it. So let's bring our project back in and then we'll fill that with some cute chocolates. Oh, I forgot I wanted to fix the eyed. I'll do that. I'll pull that back out and fix that off camera and then take a picture. And once I get some candy in here, we'll take a picture and I'll post that down in the comments. Um, thanks so much guys for hanging in there with my project today. I think it came out super cute and um, enjoy the rest of your day off if you are off today and um, I will be back again probably my regular schedule now that the um, the holidays are just about over I usually come on live between 7 and 8 at night Eastern time so thanks so much guys enjoy the rest of your day I'll talk to you soon bye